Hi guys, I'm Rachel and I'm from Day to Day Joys and today I'm going to tell you about the Virtual Homeschool Co-op and my introduction to me. Um, the Virtual Homeschool Co-op is just a group of moms, I haven't seen any dads yet, um, that are homeschooling their kids and they want the best for their kids and they want to build community and support. And so that's what you'll find in all the videos. And I'll link the link below about the virtual homeschool co-op. So today I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and my introduction. I had to go change a diaper, and that could happen a lot with me. Um, so I might be pausing a lot. Uh, anyways, a um, little bit about myself. I'm a mom, and I have four children, and um, two of them are homeschooled ages. They are nine in third grade, um, around about. Uh, seven in second grade, two, and she is actually doing um, a one-day Mother's Day out um, preschool so that I can focus in the beginning of the weeks heavily uh, with my older kids. And then we have a baby, and he is eight months, a little big chunky guy. Um, and my husband and I own a wellness practice. I don't work there anymore. Um, and we teach about health, nutrition, exercise, detox, and um, chiropractic and how um, God made our bodies incredible and, um, and we just have to trust that it, how he made it, um, they can heal. And um, so we try to do things more naturally. And so I, in my channel, some things I talk about is health and stuff like that. Um, so as far as homeschooling, is concerned. I got my notes so I don't forget anything. Um, we've only ever done homeschooling um, and up till this year um, we've done a university model which was half school and half homeschool and, and we've done that all the way up but this year we decided to do full-time homeschooling so we're excited about that um, and that's one way I even got introduced more to YouTube and actually having a channel um, but it all started with me watching all of the homeschooling videos, and I became a junkie, and I watched, watched, and watched, and learned and soaked up as much as I could, um, and which encouraged me to actually be able to do full-time home, homeschooling by myself. Um, so, let's see. All right, my approach to um, learning is to teach my children to learn independently um, because one day in life they're going to have to take initiative and and um, be out on their own and, and do what their responsibilities are and so um, we're not unschooling um, but we do have a list which I made them planners and they are encouraged to get those things done and check them off as they are done and then we do things as a family. Um, and I think that that's a fun way um, to encourage them to get their own responsibilities done, and then we can work together on things as a family. Um, where are we? We are in Eastern Tennessee, and I'm excited about fall. I'm looking outside and seeing the leaves and a couple starting to change, and the fall is absolutely gorgeous here. So I'm really looking forward to fall, which is my favorite season. Love you guys to tell me what your favorite season is. Um, the next question is, how has social media helped you um, in your homeschooling journey? Um, well, just like I said earlier, I was a, or I am, a homeschooling video junkie. Um, and it encouraged me um, that I can do this. Every If these ladies... And moms can do this. I can I can homeschool my kids, um, and I can use resources provided to help our experience be better. Um, I also um, the social media has helped me learn, or actually meet others um, who are in the same boat as I am. And even if they're not, uh, we can meet others and be encouraged, encouraging support to each other. Um, little bit about why we homeschool. Okay, the two main reasons of why we homeschool are our family schedule and being a part of our children's learning environments. Um, number one, um, 
our family schedule is not a nine to five. My husband will be home. We'll eat dinner together, enjoy our evening. It's, it's just not like that with our family. Um, and so homeschooling gives us an opportunity to spend a lot of family time together at different times of the day. Um, for instance, different days of the week, my husband's here in the morning, um, like um, on Tuesdays, the kids and him do history together with our history curriculum. Um, he's off on Fridays for the most part. Some Fridays he has to work, so he can be involved in our schooling on Fridays, or we can do field trips or whatever, and, and he can be involved with the kids' lives. Um, and the other one, like I said, is our being involved with our kids' um, learning environments. Um, we want the learning that takes place to point them to Christ um, and to point them in the right direction in life and for to encourage them to uh, choose the things that they want to learn more about, to do their responsibilities that we have set in place, but to encourage them to, you know, just get involved in things that they love. Um, so those are the two main reasons. Um, and the last thing we're going to talk about is why watch the virtual homeschool co-op? Well, like I told you earlier, that it's what encouraged me to be able to know that I can full-time homeschool. Um, and I got ideas and several different things. You can get overwhelmed um, by watching too, watching YouTube too, but you just have to set a limit on uh, you just have to know what who you are and who you're not um, so that you can make the best choices for your family. Okay, so the reason I think you should watch the Virtual Homeschool Co-op and why I do is to learn from others, to get others' perspectives on things, and to grow the homeschooling community so that we can just build a tribe of homeschooling families um, and it's not looked like why are you homeschooling your kids? Why are your kids at the grocery store with you at 11 a.m.? Why aren't they at school? So people can learn more about it and to know that it's an awesome thing um, that we can do for our families. Um, and so these are just some things um, about me. I look forward to learning more about you guys, and we'll see you next time.